If you take a camera to downtown San Francisco right now and you ask complete strangers, non-Nigerians, two questions. One, do you know anything about the country, Nigeria? I don't know a lot about the country. In regards to Nigeria? I don't really know too much about Nigeria, to be honest with you. Many of them don't even have a clue. They have no idea what Nigeria is about. And if you ask them the second question, what is the first thing that comes to your mind about Nigeria? They're either going to tell you poverty, fraud, crime, or soccer. I'd say diamonds. I'd probably say corruption. I, I would just think about fraud. I mean, I'm sorry, I'd soccer. I heard much about fraud and corruption. Email scam, scam, scam. Probably, unfortunately, unrest. Unrest. Think of unrest. As Nigerians, we all get labeled, regardless of who you are or where you are. This happened to me. Happened to me. But you see, the, the, the real challenge that we have is that the Lagos story has never been told, okay? And when nature abhors vacuum, if you don't tell your story, people are going to multiply whatever story they want to go through. It's about time for us to begin to tell our own stories, to showcase positive things about Nigeria, starting from Lagos, from the right sources. I was born in Lagos. I was born in Lagos just over 60 years ago. My name is Dr. Bodoni Olua, a Lagosian by birth. I'm from a royal family. I'm a Lagos prince. I was born in Lagos. <laughs> Since I was born, I'm an indigenous of Lagos. I was born in Lagos. I was not brought to Lagos. I am a royal prince in Lagos a direct descendant of King Kosoko of Lagos. So I have been here, I have been living in Lagos since I was born, throughout my life. I was born in Lagos, 51 years ago, in Saremoto. The time I moved to Lagos, uh, I was just about 10, 11 years old at that time, destiny attracted me to Lagos. I was born in 1929. I came to Lagos as a teenager. It was already bad when I got here. I was born in Lagos, bread, buttered, battered. <laughs> All my life, really. Because of where I was coming from, it was bigger than anything I had lived with. So I was impressed with everything about Lagos. <laughs> See, I was a local boy. I was born in Lagos. I was born in Lagos, around behind Tinubu Square, Fante. In 1948. I was born bred in Lagos. I've lived in Lagos all my life and I like it. Who can tell the good old day story of Lagos? And the, the Lagos of today is quite different from the Lagos of yesteryears. Lagos was the home of dreams. And you know, you always wish those good days would come back again. In those days, you are free to go anywhere you like in Lagos without fear of being molested or, or being attacked or anything. We had the electricity a lot better. And, and you know, whenever there's going to be a, a power interruption, you got notice in the newspapers or over the radio in Lagos. In Lagos. You were just attracted to the alwa of Lagos as it was painted to you. So everybody had a Lagos of his own in his mind. Truth be told, at some point, Lagos fell from those glorious days. Without any question. Lagos, um, did Lagos fall from, fall from his glory? Yes, it did, um, without question. Gone. Don't you see it yourself? What is good about Lagos now? This movie talks about global misconceptions about Lagos. 
The second misconception that many people have outside is that um, Lagos is a den of thieves, okay? That it's a den of thieves and criminals, 419ers and everything else. This, most of these foreigners, mm -hmm. what they see on the screen is what they are believing. Mm -hmm. It is wrong. I am Prince Jide Kosoko, and I want to say this clearly, that they are very good people in Lagos. How can you judge, you know, 6,000 kilometers away? What is the state of Lagos today? What are some of the improvements we're seeing in Lagos? We're seeing so much, so much. We have a governor in Lagos. in Lagos who, um, who is sensitive. If anybody said Ozumba Mbadwe and this Lekki Express would look the way it does now, I'm, so, I'm sure most people would say, yeah, right. If the present leadership in the state. You know, or that Oshodi could be the way it is. Uh, led by Governor Babatunde Raji Fashala uh, has been so proactive. Hey, go down. Lagos is a lot of fun. Lagos is very beautiful. Lagos is beautiful. Very beautiful. Lagos is beautiful. Becoming very beautiful. The beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. To this beholder, Lagos is very beautiful. This, this is this one. Yes, if I ever come this way again, I want to be born in Lagos again. Last giddy. That's what Lagos is to me. Last giddy. Lagos is everything to me. Lagos is everything to me. And I repeat again, Lagos is everything. This is not just another documentary about Lagos. This is a movement. 